So what should we watch out for with the Fed's fight with inflation? Hi, I'm Jeffrey Roach, Chief Economist for LPL Financial. And in this Econ Market Minute, I'm going to talk about three important things to watch out for as we look at the Fed's fight with inflation. Number one, watch out for non-durable goods prices. So if you look at the graph, you look at that gray line, we know that durable good prices are clearly off the peak from February of this year. So as we continue to monitor the effectiveness of the Fed's fight with inflation, we need to look at non-durable goods. So we expect non-durable goods prices to ease the latter half of this year, and that will continue to put downward pressure on the annual rate of the CPI metric. Point number two, and that is my inflation is not your inflation. I know that sounds cheesy, but here's the point. If you look at the CPI metric and you look at that pie chart, there are various weights for all those components, durables, non-durables, services, less housing, and then housing. So let's take this for example. If I spend more on durable goods than you do, that means I'm going to feel the benefit of that easing in durable goods prices more than you will. Well, take another example. Say I have a friend that spends more on renting costs than I do. Well, they're going to feel the negative impact of accelerating rental costs right now. So it is extremely important to understand the weightings within the CPI metric. So depending on how that household spends its money, and you compare one household with another, one household's inflation rate may feel very different than another household's rate of inflation. Point number three, the pipeline is clearing. So here, this graph that I'm showing you, just showing you the year-on-year -year change in producer prices, along with the year-on-year -year change in consumer prices. And again, we just saw the fact that as supply chains are improving, bottlenecks are clearing up, the pressure is easing from the supply side, we're seeing a direct correlation in improvement and easing in producer prices. And hence, let's wait a little bit, it will eventually flow into consumer prices. Now, all that being said, it's extremely important to remember, these inflation rates still much higher than where the Fed wants to be, where the markets want inflation rates to be. And so we have a lot more work to do. The Fed will continue tightening. So the Fed does have a lot more to do. And so therefore we do expect another tightening in September, possibly a 50 basis point tightening. They're moving down from a 75 basis point cadence to 50, eventually to 25, but that all depends on the further easing of inflation. So a lot more to be done and to be seen. Until next time, take care.